Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tired Axe Outdoors. Today we are out checking out a small lake in the South Metro, uh, real close to where I work. So, uh, we're going to get after some pike, throw some bucktails, throw some spoons, see if we can uh, generate any any uh, action. It's a uh, you know, good fall bite. The water is cooling nicely. Got some fall colors back behind me, which is awesome. Uh, Alright guys, stick with us. It should be a good episode. It's an aerator. Okay. So in the winter time, it keeps uh, the the pond from freezing over because it keeps the water circulating. So most of the fish we caught last time were either off this dock facing this direction or from the other corner out towards that buoy. Is where they were. Yeah, that's fine if you want to fish over there. I just didn't want you to go too far until we were ready to go, you know. Ah, shoot. True that, dude. So let's go uh, over on this other side here. Okay. Turn over there. Okay. It likes it. It's because it's my rod. It's trying to like claim. It's because it's my rod. So this one's like, hey, get back in my boat. I'm also using the Black Max. I wonder if there's something down there that I'm hitting or if it's a fish. There we go. Woo! Oh boy. Yeah, right? Oh, ho, ho, ho. There we go. Now that's a big pike. Let's see. <laughs> you want to grab some pliers for me? <laughs> I can just grab them. Huh? I can just grab them. Okay. I need to grab pliers. Well, I can get. I'm just. That's what I'm asking. I don't want to break, lose them here. Okay. Well, yeah. Do you want me to grab them? There you go. I was like just thinking. I was like, I should grab some pliers and get them ready. And I was like, no, it'll be fine. Yeah, they're right in the top. Yeah. I'll go ahead and get them unhooked. I'll give you my phone so you can get some pictures. Is this the first pike out of the kayaks? Uh, yeah. That's a milestone. Ain't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know, right? I just gotta get grip on this gill plate right there. There we go. He's a decent little 
little pike. I don't know how big he is, but uh, these guys are all over in here. And uh, I'm going to let him go here real quick. Film that, bud. Yes. We'll get him back. There he goes. Oh. All right. So the magic ticket seems to be... Realistic looking spoon. Let's my shorts here. We should probably get out of the weeds. Yeah. This is the ticket right here. Right there. So it's a Lure Jensen. It's a, like a realistic spoon. It's got a big white back. Oh, so we haven't gotten a bite. I tied this on in the third cast. Boom. He was right there. So it was insane. Apparently, this is the ticket I have it. on this lake. So uh, we're going to keep fishing here. We got something to do here in uh, a couple of hours, real close by. So we're going to linger here and fish as long as we can. So stay with us. All right. So. This is a good time to teach you guys how to do a polymer knot if you don't know how. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your line, bring your line, red tip closer so we have this little slack. Okay, you're gonna just double it, just like this. Hope you guys can see this. And fold it just into a loop like that. And that's what's gonna go through your eyelet. And this is a super simple knot and it's bulletproof and it's great for braid. All right, so you're gonna cross over and this is just like a standard knot like you tie your shoe. Go through the loop and then you're gonna grab this loop here Pull it tight and kick your bait through. And then you're gonna pull this tight. And right before you get it all the way tight, I put a little spit on it or water just to wet that knot. And then you just go ahead and cut the tag end off. Simple as that. All right, and there's our knot. So I have never had this knot fail me, not once. So knock on wood, today's not the day. All right, so gonna reel that up, buddy. Give that a shot. All right, I like the spoon. See, I think this, I think they're just, they really like the movement of the spoon, is, is what I think, so. Too. Yeah, all right, let's see what we can do. Let's see, what time, 5.30. So I wouldn't even worry about getting too much further out into the lake. So this is just a really tiny lake. Uh, it's two, two parts, we're in the one basin. Uh, the other side is pretty choked with weeds. But this is the second time. The last time I got some video or some photos up on my Instagram. You guys should go check that out at Tired Axe Outdoors. But uh, we were fishing from the dock. Uh, lightweight tackle. I actually caught a, that's a good cast. I actually caught a 30, uh, two, 30 or 32 inch northern on uh like six pound tests on a medium light spinning rod got wrapped around the uh, the dock post almost lost it it was pretty cool but uh yeah check that out on instagram uh there's a video also over on tiktok of us uh losing a fish off the end of the dock i know right all right there we go so it all dropped a leak to this lure. Uh, it's actually made here in Minnesota, uh, down in southwestern Minnesota. Oh, no, uh, I think it was a weed. I'm just gonna check mine, make sure it's still good here. After that guy, he hit like a ton of bricks, man. He like tapped it, and then nothing, and then he just crushed it. <laughs> So right out in front of us here, I'm not exactly sure where, but there's like a 26 foot hole. I'm sure it's based off where that aerator is over there. And then the rest of the lake is pretty shallow. There's a question, how, how, would I, how should I fish this? Um, you just really throw it out, let it sink for a second or two, and then just retrieve it. Um, I mean, if you wanna you know, jerk it or pop it or twitch it, you can, but. Sorry about the wind noise here today. It's uh, the wind's blowing like 15 to 25 and we're pretty secluded in here for the most part. These casts are nuts with this Black Max. Next year, I think I'm gonna put some high speed uh, bearings in it. And I've heard guys, uh, I've heard great stories, people doing that. 
getting even more performance out of them. But there is no access to this lake other than carry in kayak or canoe. And we actually walked through a pretty nasty marsh and bog to prevent having to carry the kayaks further. I don't know if that was a I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but so far no ticks or major repercussions other than muddy shoes. But we're rocking Crocs today. So that was a cool cast, dude. Alright, let's cruise over here. Backlash. Look at my lure. There we go. Oh, it's stuck on the dock? I threw it over the dock railing, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard. I could just go up there and get it. Well, I know. But still, that's not the point. Just trying to see if we can locate a couple more fish before we gotta go. We gotta scoot here in like 10 or 15 minutes. Good thing is it's not a long paddle back. There's one. Little guy, but. It amazes me how hungry these little pike are. Yep, there he goes. I'm not sure what Colton's doing over there. I think he was borrowing a couple of those what? sucker minnows. <laughs> He's like, what? You heard me talking about it from way over here. I'm not quite sure how that's possible, but you ask him to bring his dishes in from 10 feet away and he can't hear you, but he hears me from 100 yards out on the lake in a wind, in a 20 mile an hour wind. <laughs> All right, come on fish, one more. What a nice September evening. It was like uh, 73 degrees today. If that wind wasn't blowing, it'd be amazing, but nice little sunset going on here out on the water. Can't get much better than this, guys. All right, buddy, you about ready? About ready? You didn't take that bucket, did you? Huh? You didn't take that bucket, did you? Okay. That minnow bucket. Well, yeah, I have a to go. Okay. I'll say you might want to start doing that because we got to go here in the next like five minutes. All right. You better hurry, man. Because right. I cannot be late. Got a very important date right no all right guys we're wrapping up so we've got uh got two fish one decent one one small one and uh we're gonna get packed up and head out starting to get dark sun's down below the trees so this is a beautiful night see if you can see that sunset back there it is yeah all right, guys, so we appreciate you checking out this episode of Tired Axe Outdoors. As always, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the videos, share the videos, and uh, go check us out on Instagram at Tired Axe Outdoors and on TikTok at Tired Axe Outdoors. And uh, all right, guys, we'll talk to you next time. Have a great day, and we'll see you later. All right, bye-bye.